what's your favorite song and sing it? Don't forget to come and pick up your ooh, feelings. Ooh, baby, I sound a mess. I'm leaving that to Jasmine Sullivan. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Shawnee and this is Watch Me Wednesdays, where you can come and watch me try different techniques, on nails to see if it'll be fail or fab in today's video i'll be trying out doing an ombre nail set on my practice hand i was supposed to do it on my own hand but uh let me show y'all what happened i was having the hardest time trying to film and do my nails at the same time but that's okay because we're moving forward and moving on so in this video, while I'm doing nails, I'm going to be doing the get to know me tag so y'all can get to know me a little better. Let's get into the products I'll be using today. I want to preface this by saying that this is not a tutorial. I repeat, this is not a tutorial. I do not know enough to teach you all how to do this. I'm just here to practice. And, and the purpose of these videos is for me to just show you all my progress. And you can use it as inspiration for yourself to show that, hey, we're learning. And you can watch me watch me have fabulous results or i might fail but at the end of the day we're going to pick back up and we're going to do it all over again because that's the point practice 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 that's what we're doing here now let's get to the juicy stuff these questions what sport have you played so in high school i was on the track team but i didn't run i did the shot put in the discus your girl is not about to run. I remember they tried to get me to run in the relay one time and I said, absolutely not. Not on my watch. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Ooh, this is interesting because I just discovered Erin On Demand. And y'all, I have binged like most of her videos from beginning to end. She is amazing. But if we're talking about nail stuff, then I'd say Get Nail 32, Femi Beauty, and long hair pretty nails top three they're amazing you're wearing perfume what scent is it ah so around this time of the year is definitely ysl black opium top tier one of my faves but when it warms up i like flower bomb it's one of my favorites chef's kiss love it what is your favorite movie hmm i'm not even sure if you would have asked me this a few months ago i probably would have said or i definitely would have said boys in the hood but i don't think that's true anymore if we're talking about disney movies it's definitely tarzan and beauty and the beast do you use pc or mac I use a Mac currently, but I do want a PC also so that I can play my Sims games seamlessly. Oh yeah, I play the Sims too. Do you have any bad habits? Ooh, <laughs> this one is embarrassing to mention, but it's one that's developed over the last few months. It's belching and it's uncontrollable. I need to get it under control because it's gross. But yes, I belch a lot. Tell us one thing that we wouldn't know about you. Well, I mean, apparently y'all don't know anything about me, but something extra that you wouldn't know is that I write fiction. So I'm actually currently writing a new book and I can't wait to put it out. It's gonna be great. I'm in love with the characters. Yeah, I write. Describe your first crush. <laughs> this is funny. So, hmm, how do I want to answer this? 
y'all ever had those crushes when you were younger you know the little petty crushes and then you grow up and get grown and you see that person again and you just think to yourself like why did i ever like you like it's just not giving what it's supposed to give like <laughs> that's how i would describe my first crush <laughs> Who is your celebrity crush? Ooh, baby. Anthony Joshua. That is my man. Period. He live in London. He's a boxer. And he doesn't know why I exist. But that's still my man. Period. <laughs> what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? So I'm not really that big on ice cream. But it would have to be raspberry chocolate chip. It used to be vanilla. But... I don't do vanilla that much anymore. What's your favorite sports team? Hmm. I'd say the Boston Celtics, but honestly, I haven't been that interested in sports lately. Like, the NBA has just been pissing me off lately, so I've just been paying them dust. Yeah, but the Boston Celtics. What motivates you? Hmm. I want to retire my mom. She works so hard and she just deserves to chill and not do anything if she wants to. Like, I want that lady to just be in the house watching her shows and doing nothing if she wants on my dime. What inspired me to do nails? I'm naturally a creative person. I love all things creative, art, writing, nails, literally if it's creative i love it so when i came across a youtube video and i saw somebody doing some bomb nails i said i want to do that and it's been up from there do you have any weird quirks Ooh, i do i have a phobia about eating off of flatware so i prefer plastic and i actually bring my own plastic everywhere i go and <laughs> And I open chip bags from the bottom instead of the top. I've been doing it unconsciously since I was a kid. I don't know why, I just do. What have I been doing this year for my self-care? Uh, reading, creating this channel, doing nails, because it makes me extremely happy, and shoot, eating good food. I've been cooking a lot lately too, I like that. What social media are you addicted to? Oh, it's bad, y'all. Instagram. Ooh, I'm embarrassed to say because I literally, like, I cannot go a day without getting on Instagram. I go on there and I stalk the pages that I follow. And, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Instagram. What TV show are you currently watching? So, I'm currently binging Girlfriends and One on One. I never watched Girlfriends when it first aired on TV, so I've been watching it on Netflix to check it out, and so far, so good. What advice would I give people who want to start a new hobby? Uh, try new things. Find out what you love to do and do it as much as you can. For me, nails are a big stress reliever, and it's something that I love. So just try new stuff and do it. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Ooh, easily New York listen I went to New York City one time and I did not want to leave I would go back there in a heartbeat where do you see yourself in your nail journey in five years oh I definitely see myself living my best life I will be living the life that I want in five years and my nail journey, I will be doing it like the pros, period. What are my pet peeves? Ugh. People walking close behind me and ice rattling in a cup. I cannot stand it. I will get a drink with no ice to go because I cannot stand ice rattling in a cup. It drives me crazy. Those are my peeves. So those are all of the questions that I have. Uh, in the comments, let me know what are your pet peeves? What are the things that get under your skin? Now, let's talk about how these nails have turned out. So, the shaping, it looks okay. And it looks like I have an apex. So, 
we might be on to something there. The ombre itself, now that's where I think I need a lot of work. I had a hard time trying to get that good transition of the colors and things were starting to get messy. So I think I could have definitely improve on the transition of the two colors. I can improve on the application of the product because I definitely used way too much acrylic. So I had to do a lot of filing. Overall, I'd give myself a 5 out of 10 on these. So, glossed up. They don't look that pretty, but um, we tried. That's all that matters. We're practicing and we're trying. So, fab or fail, y'all. Y'all let me know. Comment below letting me know what you think about the nails that we did today. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.